Africans sold other Africans into slavery, and the quicker that we can get through this reality, this one thing that is very easily quantified by a simple search on the internet, which is documented with thousands and thousands of pages of information proving this, the quicker we can get through the problems this country has in terms of the issues regarding, let's say, let's say, oh, BLM. Oh, let's say 1619 Project. Oh, let's say CRT or racism in general, or people who say that they're a victim, but they want to blame someone going way back multiple generations, like reparations. I mean, what's that about? Stick around to the end of this video and I'm going to give you the single reason why people cling to the notion that Africa was blameless and had nothing to do with the slave trade. It was all on someone else, particularly white Europeans. It's going to shock you. So when I go to the average brother man on the street and say, yo man, you know what? You do realize that Africans sold other Africans into slavery, right? I get one of three reactions in terms of their emotion. One is apathy. Oh, yo, duh, who cares, man? It was like a billion years ago. Second one is appreciation. Finally, someone can make sense in this saying something that I've been wanting to say for a long time. And lastly, you get anger. People who are upset to the hilt and they're so emotionally vested. They want to do bad things to you, I guess. I don't know, but they're what, typing on the keyboards left and right, wanting to get the point across. They are so angry. And in this video, I'm going to share with you that particular emotion because it's the most compelling. We'll leave the other two for another video. However, anger is so important here because within anger, each one of these people have their reasons for that. And we're going to cover that in this video. So let's start off with the facts. That's always a good place to start. Unless you're a leftist. Did the slave trade actually happen? Yes. Did Africans sell other Africans into slavery? Absolutely. Undeniably. Yes. I don't know why that's so difficult for people to understand. Some people say, well, they weren't technically Africans. They were Hebrews. Okay. I don't want to get into that. However, can we at least agree on the fact that brown people who lived in Africa sold other brown people who lived in Africa? Can we at least come and have that as a common level of discussion? Good. So now we can move on. It absolutely happened. In fact, if anyone wants any information about what I say here, it's all documented in links upon links upon links of information in the description of this video, you'll see a playlist. In that playlist description, there's a link to a website with all the hard PDF to the website information. You can click on the PDF. You can click on the link in the PDF. It takes you to the source material and you can verify everything we say here. In addition, we also uploaded this. It's the comparative history of commercial transition in three West African slave trading economies. 1630 to 1860. This is by Agnes Durample Smith. It's around 283 source pages full of contemporary data and charts. All of that will be in the link in the description below of that playlist. Now let's talk about people who deflect and totally miss the point. They'll say, dude, don't you know that white people bought the slaves? I'm like, dude, but if they didn't have the supply of the slaves, they would never have bought them. I mean, come on. The fact that they were doing bad stuff too doesn't excuse the Africans who were doing bad stuff too. Is that fair enough? That's not rocket science. I'm not saying that white people are exonerated from this. In fact, that's not even the point. The point of this is not exoneration, nor is it about absolution, legitimizing, exoneration. These people are creating a straw man argument and attacking that when that's not what we're saying. What we're saying is, is that Africans sold other Africans into slavery. That's it. What people failed to remember or even know that white people abolished slavery all around the world 170 years ago. I mean, consider the fact that well over 330 young white men from the United States alone died to free black slaves in another country, Great Britain. They used their vast naval power to stop other nations from continuing the slave trade long after it had been abolished. This cost them the lives of over 19,000 young male white sailors. Now here comes my favorite in the anger prone list. And they are all of the excuses that these people who claim to be from Kangs and Cranes back in Africa conveniently say, um, well, we really were helpless. We could do nothing. They came in and took our slaves. We could do nothing. We did nothing. We did nothing. Okay. Which is it? Are you Kangs and Cranes or are you this docile people who just couldn't defend off the homeland? Even though you had millions of people, many tribes and kingdoms who were trained in martial arts, who knew the land, who had weaponry, had shields, knew all this stuff. Not to mention the land was 
conducive for malaria in which white people were getting left and right and were dying from. And also, we're talking about smooth bore, single shot, black powder weapons that couldn't hit a broadside of a barn from 100 yards. They have to come off of this. This slave trade would not have been possible without not only African participation, but Africans leading the charge in this. There's no other way this could have happened other than massive African involvement in the selling out of their own people. The fact of the matter is that Africans were the tip of their own human chattel slave trade supply chain and nothing you can say or do will change that fact. It is what it is, but it doesn't mean that they are hundred percent responsible. I say probably 70%, but it's not a hundred percent. So people still want to cling to this thing that Africans are so innocent. They did nothing. And there's a reason for that. I'm going to tell you why in just a few moments. And so here's the single reason why people want to cling to this notion that Africa was totally blameless. It did nothing wrong. It was all someone else, particularly if they are white people. That is the thing. And that gives you a hint as to why it is. It's because their whole house of cards lie on this. Their whole deal with reparations, the whole deal with CRT getting into the schools, the whole thing with 1619 Project, the whole thing with BLM and these power grabs, these race baiters, these Jesse Jacksons, these Al Sharpton, these people who go off and find anything to pit one side against another, particularly if they're lighter in complexion, gets them more power, more money. And it is because of this racism thing, which is all based on the slave trade and slavery. However, what if I tell you and I just have that the slave trade could not have been possible had it not been for other black people selling out other black people who lived in Africa. That would make sense. It couldn't have been possible. Once that gets out here, all of a sudden that whole house of cards falls down and all their theories and all of their systematic this and systemic this and all this and all this, that all comes crumbling down to a heap of ashes. And that's why I think this is going to be the hill that many people want to, you know, die in because they feel that they have to make the stand here. They have to make it work somehow. It has to somehow be the Europeans fault. Otherwise, who are you going to blame? You can't blame ourselves because accountability is the last thing that anyone on that side of the table wants to take on. That's the truth. So these false narratives keep going. Shows like Roots, which was proven to be false, have to keep going. All these things have to keep going because it has to somehow justify the fact that Africans were totally blameless and they had no responsibility at all in the capturing of their own people when other people have done the same thing. But I'll save that for another video. And so what's your thoughts on this video? What's your thoughts of the different attitudes of anger and appreciation and apathy? And take a look at this playlist right here where I told you before it has a full list of documentation of all the things I mentioned here in full detail from the original source materials.